Actually, when I was in seventh grade, in history class, we started learning about World War II for the first time, and we learned about Third Reich period Germany, and it was awful and horrifying, and I raised my hand and I asked, well, what about the rest of German history? They didn't do this all the time, did they? And my teacher said, no, but we're not talking about that today. And that wasn't a good enough answer for me, so I decided to go find out more on my own. Bonjour. Marhaba. Guten Tag. Hola, bienvenidos. the director to strategize and plan and coordinate efforts to undertake what we call comprehensive internationalization at McDaniel, which basically means that we really want to infuse global learning into everything that a student does and experiences at the college in some way. Global Initiatives is like an umbrella, and that has like different speeches or different guest lectures, like things like that, and then under that is Global Fellows. It fosters better understanding of the world. Um, you're more open to different cultures. You having to go to these different cultural events on campus. You know, last semester we had a Buddhist monk come and talk. Everything's meant to really uh, expand your knowledge of the world and give you a better perspective into uh, the lives of people all over the place. I'm about to study abroad. I'm going to go get a whole new experience, a whole new culture. And I'm going to try and bring some back and share it with everybody. You have to go in depth with the language, and whatever language, and mine's French, I'd have to take classes that are outside of that country or that language. So you not only have one area that you kind of focus on, but you have kind of a well-rounded, kind of another core of liberal arts. Each semester you're required to go to so many cultural events and, you know, talk about it and converse with everyone else and see who else went, first of all, and if they didn't thought of the process. You have to study abroad through the program and I'm really excited to go to the Middle East and see what life is like in there and meet people there, make connections with uh, people from all over the world. So one of the first things that we've done is looked at our McDaniel plans, like where we are right now and like, planning out what we're going to do in the future. So it's definitely doable. It, it does require a lot of planning, especially if you're doing dual major, double major, triple major, you know, whatever. Because there are a lot of people in Global Fellows that are doing a lot of things. So if you can figure out how to organize your schedule the best, it should be pretty simple. I have an advisor too, and it's not like a like a signature advisor. It's someone who's more like, I guess, a friend or a mentor, and so they kind of guide you through the international programs. It is kind of scary to think about um, whether you're doing business or trying to communicate with someone from a different country. It is completely different out of your comfort zone and so to have that global learning it is important to make those connections and to really connect on a personal level. I think when you have a better perspective um, of how other people view the world and view their lives then you can start to grow, uh, collaborate, uh, cooperate with these people and really solve global issues you're better able to understand that your world isn't just including you, you you touch every single person that you meet every day. And I think that the Global Fellows really kind of emphasizes that and helps you understand that no matter where you are in the world, you do make a difference and you can make a bigger difference than you thought you could. This is a global community. There is so much more outside of Maryland, outside of the United States. And the more opportunities you have to go learn things that you never thought you would have learned before, Better. When I came here 10 years ago, I was very happy to know that I was working at one of the colleges that changes lives. And it's been my experience that that is precisely what we do. When Roger Casey arrived, the theme of his inauguration was changing lives for a changing world. And I think that that's our next step. And that's a very important part of any liberal arts education. So I'm happy that we're doing it.